Attorney General Faris al rawi disclosed that he invited leaders of various unions to discuss the government's insistence that public sector workers should be vaccinated against COVID-19 from mid-January. Among the unions he has written to are the Prison Officers Association of Trinidad and Tobago, Police Social and Welfare Association, Fire Services Association of Trinidad and Tobago, and the Public Services Association. He has since received responses from the Oil Fields Workers Trade Union and Trinidad and Tobago Registered Nurses Association, who have confirmed their willingness to meet. The AG is hopeful that the consultation will make the transition a smooth one. But he did admit that government did not speak collectively to the trade union movement. What's the reason? People need to know where you are. The government received its information, assessed its data, consulted with experts, looked at the international context, consulted again, and then the government announced its policy. The starting point for any proper conversation is what is your policy on this? The Attorney General said those employed in the public sector will have the choice of being vaccinated and turning up to work. That we are treating with a balancing of rights. The balancing of rights between those persons who wish to be protected in the context of being vaccinated and those persons who wish to exercise their free choice in not being vaccinated. AG al Rawi also made it clear that members of the public conducting business in the public sector would not be required to be vaccinated. Patrons who access the public service, people who come for services at the public sector, are not in the bucket of um, being asked to receive or produce their vaccination certificates. The reason is that we can control the crowds. So we can't control the workforce in a productive environment. When it comes to the furlough of employees who are not vaccinated by mid-January, the AG said eventually this would lead to their termination or resignation as the furlough period for an employee is not indefinite. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.